Hey, this is Roris Raz, and I'm giving a demo on how to play, or a tutorial on how to play Super Monday Night Combat. And you do not have to have any sort of prior knowledge for the first game to watch this video. It is based for people who are really new to the game. And I'm going to start by just explaining what this room is right here. This is the base where you spawn at and will respawn at if you die. It will uh, heal, you back, heal you rapidly back up to full health. You see the green bar in the center there is your current health. If you go back in here, you'll be healed really fast. And other play enemy players cannot come in here. You see the little bars restricting it. They can shoot in there, though, so just make sure you're safe from that. So walking out here, we're going to go for the, uh, see the most important part of the game. This right here is the money ball. It is the goal of the game. You have to destroy your opponent's money ball. You see the health meters at the top, shown by the two mascots for the hot shots and the Iceman. However, the money ball, like turrets, cannot be uh, directly hurt by players initially. See the white glow there? That is a shield, and in order to take that shield down, see right there as well, you have to actually uh, bring bots to those objectives and take them down. So we got a bot wave coming out right here, and we're going to follow it. The little bots right there are slim bots. The larger one is a shady bot, which has more HP and a bit more damage than the smaller ones. And we're just going to follow it out. See right there, this bot has lost its shield because bots were there, or this turret has lost its shield since there was bots that recently came by and took the shield down. It'll go back up after a while if no bots attack it. So let's go ahead and attack some bots here real quick. Now the core thing of the game is, as you just saw, I leveled up. You see the uh, lower right-hand corner of the screen, there is a there is money, and there's also a two with a yellow, sort of a small yellow bar. You can see the part of it right there if I attack these guys, you'll see it fill up a little bit. That's my experience. Uh, money and experience are pretty much the same. Th uh, they're both gained at the same time. Now, by gaining experience, you can level up your skills. And you also get a nice stat boost. So we walk back here so I'm not hit by bots, and we'll see our skills. Every uh, class or pro has three main skills to use. The default keys are uh, Shift for this one, Q for this skill, and then E for this skill. And down here you have two uh, general stat buffs. This is your defense. It increases your health as well as your speed. And down here you have offense, which increases your uh, basic weapon damage, not your skill damage, but the actual weapon you use. So we're going to go ahead and give a little damage and a little defense right here. Uh, as you can tell, you can tell from there, uh, you can't just put all your points into one skill in a row. You got to sort of you're kind of forced to spread them out a little bit. And while killing a bot will give you, if you kill a bot or a bot dies, and you damage in the last five seconds, you get credit for it. So, I'm going to kill this bot. So let's say I, I hit a bot, and I and within five seconds someone else killed it. I still get uh, money for that and experience. So, don't focus so much on having to kill them, but just make sure you've tagged them at the end, so you get some sort of credit for that. And as you see, m uh, enemies are dropping things. The coins are the main thing. The coins will give you, they'll give you a little bit of bonus money, about three or four extra dollars and experience. For killing them, so they're worth uh, they're worth killing or they're worth picking up if you can uh, if you can safely do so. Uh, right here, you have a churro. I'm going to use a skill real quick. Whoops, I'm flying a little bit there. Let's get a better example of that. Well, uh, first you have the armor plating. We'll go with that first. As you see, the yellow bar now is filled up a little bit from the armor plating thing. That's that's uh, overhealing our armor. It basically gives you a little bit of extra. Uh, Damage absorption. Unlike HP, though, it does not regenerate on its own uh, under normal circumstances. The only way to fill it up is to either get overhealed by Defender class or to grab the armor plating on the ground. And that right there is a Fuji bot, that big bot flying. Every so often, a wave will include one of those, and they're very good at taking down turrets. So uh, make sure you're killing the enemy Fuji bots when they come by. I grab their armor plating. Now. Try to get the next uh, the next drop here. The other drop is churros, as far as main drops go. It will increase your health, and it will also cool down some of your skills. Let's get a hit here a few times. Eh, they're not really... But killing bots is one of the important things of the game. you got to push the top lane and the bottom lane are... Display, or left and right lane are displayed as the top and bottom lane on the uh, UI. You can see how your bots are progressing. This is a show off something right here. That's an ejector. Uh, while experience gives you increased base stats and the ability to put skill points into your skills 
and further increase your base stats. Money is used for different things. Uh, that one I just showed you being the ejector. As you see, it destroyed all bots that were within this sort of pad right here. And if there are enemy pros there, they'll be knocked off the pad. Uh, a little bit of knockback. And that's key because there's one way to instant kill a pro, and that is to jump off. See, if I jump off of here, I will die instantaneously. So when you are near a pit, you have to watch out for that because players can use knockback abilities. They can use ejectors to knock you off. And money has other uses. Uh, there are a lot of vending machines like this. This will give you a speed boost. allows you to get back into the match faster. This right here is a jump pad. I can unlock it and I can jump up to the top level, which we'll get into in a second here about the top level. And notice that it stays, it stays unlocked forever. It's not a sort of a limited thing. It'll always pump you up and also pump enemies up. So keep in mind when you've unlocked stuff on your side. Over here you have additional bot spawners. Uh, this will spawn bouncers. This will spawn blackjacks. These two bots will target players specifically. They will not go on their set path. They'll actually look out for enemy players and attack them. So good way to disrupt enemies if they're giving you a little bit of pressure. Right here, take down this Fuji bot. As you see, the shield's gone down. They can attack and do and taking damage. Level up again. We'll do that. Uh, churro right. That's a churro right there. I uh, haven't lost any health, but the churro, like I said, it uh, increases your health and it will also cool down some of your skills. Like if I use my shift skill, that's a mine right there. So any bots who come across will trip that. But let's see here. There you go. That skill's on cooldown now, as you see in the uh, lower right-hand corner. And a churro will decrease that cooldown by a, a bit. And probably one of those important ones is Regenital. This is the important... Uh, as you see, I'm taking damage from this thing. That turret, you know, they eat up pros really fast. They don't stand near turrets. Unless bots there take the hits for you. But if I need to restore some health, I can hit this thing. And you see my health is going much faster than it usually was. Now, that's only while I'm not taking damage. So if I, take, if I take damage, that regeneration will be suspended. So make sure you're in the clear before it, uh, using it. And now we'll go up to the top level and explain that a little bit. The top level has neutral bots like these gremlins right here. They are a bit stronger than the uh, weakest bots that spawn uh, along the paths. Oops, fell down there. Go back up. However, they are worth more experience and money. These will melee you if you get too close. As you see, they, they hurt quite a bit. So you feel like the uh, you're getting kind of pressured out of your lane on the bottom. You always come up top of here and try to uh, farm some of the neutral bots with a decent amount of experience. And if we go over here, we will show you. Uh, this is the most important part of the of the game, in my opinion. This is the Annihilator. It costs 1,000 to use, so I cannot use it right now. However, if you if you use it, it will not be instantaneous. It will be a short uh, animation. This here's a neutral blackjack, by the way. It's a little tougher than the other ones. And once the once the animation is over with, you will then destroy all bots uh, owned by the enemy in the arena, and you also damage their players by a decent chunk, possibly killing them too, which. In a game where you're pushing towards their base, gives you a massive amount of momentum. Uh, gives you ability to start right here. I can attack this one. Really lets you push forward and take the advantage. And every five minutes or so, it will become available once it's used. So let's go ahead and get some uh, get some money and show that thing in action. See, a turret went down. Give me a little bonus cash. And just keep pumping into it. As you see, the bots are still pretty good at pushing on their own, so you have to make sure you're, you're watching lanes a little bit. Hit ejector there, destroy more bots. All about just pushing and getting experience. Make sure your skills are... And you can be attacked while using your uh, upgrading your skills. I know it's probably obvious to some people, but make sure you're in a safe spot when you're uh, upgrading your skills so you don't get ambushed and kill some little neutrals right there just getting our keeping our money there, there. okay I'm gonna while I'm uh, I have enough money almost so I'm gonna show you uh, bullseye um, 
You'll be, every so often you'll be announced a bullseye. This is Juice, by the way, another pickup. Um, I will explain that in a second here. And where did bullseye go? This right here gives you a little, uh, little shoe, gives you a little speed boost. But a uh, bullseye is a mascot. He'll run around, and you can shoot him to make him drop money and cash. He can't be uh, killed technically, but if you ever need some extra uh, items, maybe be it health or more money, you take advantage of that by. Uh, that take advantage of that by attacking him a little bit. I'm gonna go show, show off juice here. This is the purple meter at the bottom is my juice. By hitting uh, the left control button, I gain a stat boost for temporary period while it drains. You see right there, I was critting on all my attacks. Uh, I gain a defense buff. Uh, you can also, your health regenerates as if you use the, uh, this regen vendor while you're out of uh, not taking damage. So it's, it's got both useful uh, defensive and offensive capabilities. This is a bouncer. Uh, they're both neutral and player owned ones, as I'll show here. It can, uh, it's a lot tougher than most bots. Watch, it'll, yeah, it just grappled me. And I can grapple it back. Uh, grappling is used mostly by your uh, your secondary weapon and using the alt fire. And get out of there because uh, those things can kill you really fast. Uh, grapple basically put locks you in a sort of set animation. It'll deal a lot of damage to whoever is receiving the grapple. And grapple is also, as you show right there, it, knock, it can knock back players. Let's see if I can kill him. But if you kill, you get a lot of experience. Like I said, this is a neutral one. If you look down there, you can spawn one to attack enemy players specifically. They will not go for towers. They will go straight for players. And eh, Kind of glitchy AI there, I guess. I'm not quite sure if it's intended or not. And this is a blackjack. You can, also sp you can also spawn those. They will also attack players. They have a pretty uh, mean melee attack you see right there. But once again, you kill them, you get a lot of cash. And as I said before, um, you don't get money just from the coins of the ground. Killing the bot will also give you money. And killing enemy pros as well. Alright, so now let's go ahead and try out the the Annihilator. We're going to casting bar right there. And it is done. And as we can see, right there, uh, even it kills even neutral bonds, uh, even neutral bots. And you look up top, the, uh, the lane progress, all the blue bots have been sent back to their base, or pushed back to their base because they just lost everything. And if you saw earlier, you notice I got a bot streak and I got extra cash for it. An important thing about the game is staying alive. You get a lot of bonuses by killing a lot of bots in one life and by killing a lot of players in one life. So an important part of the game is to stay alive. You don't want to feed players, but you also want to gain more momentum. The objective of the game is basically get a high enough level so that you are killing play you can kill players a lot more easily by having just the raw stat advantage over them. And eventually your advantage is so why they cannot catch up and the game approach ends from there. As you see here, the red bar will slowly fill up showing you when it's ready to be used again. Generally about five minutes. I'm not going to bother with him. He's going to hit me. I'm going to back him off. And they, they will not follow you to the bottom lane. They will stay up there. So if you ever feel like you need to get out, go ahead and just run away. All right. Got to kill some bots here. Go ahead and uh, increase my stats a little more so I can kill them more effectively. Just make sure you're using your money wisely. One player, I mean, a lot of, there's a lot of nice expensive things you save up for, and I'll show you one of the more expensive things you can summon later. And there you go, extreme bot streak, plus 50. And if you are falling behind the game, which it does happen, you can always, uh, there are catch-up mechanisms available. Um, as a player kills more players, he will go on a streak and he will get a bounty. By breaking his streak, you will get bonus money. So there are ways to catch up in the game. Uh, just because you fall behind doesn't mean it's, it's over necessarily. It just is harder to catch up from that. And all pros have two weapons. I have a assault rifle right here, then alt fire, which is when you zoom in. Uh, the alt fire and Main fire weapons are going to vary for each uh, pro. My second weapon is a grenade launcher, as you see here. And like most characters, he has a grapple 
which will, if the other player is not jumping and not during in the middle of a melee attack, you can grapple them. That will lock them into an animation where they take damage. And it's also useful to grapple because they can, um, they're stuck in one place, so your uh, players on your team can also assist by shooting that player while they're being grappled. So when you get close to a player, beware of being grappled. And while that's Bullseye up there, he sees a little icon, and he's shooting out stuff. There he flies away because he just died. Like he die, he dies after a certain period of time. Now we are almost pushing them back into their uh, money ball. Take out this Fuji bot right here. We just lost one of our towers, which, like I said, you gotta watch the map. The bots are not always gonna be perfectly evenly matched. As you see, the difference of two one being shielded, one isn't. So I can't attack this one, but I can attack this one. So just keep that in mind. You don't want to run out to, and generally you don't want to run out to a, a turret by yourself. It'll kill you really fast. You want to make sure it's firing at uh, bots first. Go here. You want to make sure. Always want to make sure you're just, you know, escorting your bots. Making sure your bots are heading out there first and foremost. Make sure that the enemy bots are not killing them. And now I can attack this. As you see, it's getting low. Make sure they're still dying here. If I get too close to this thing, it'll start hurting me. See, that's, my armor's going down real fast. Health's going down real fast. And you'll notice the bottom of my juice is filling back up. Juice is filled up by taking damage and by grabbing juice boxes and using the juice vendors. So make sure you're always keeping an eye on the juice because it can allow you to make a really good push, allow you to kill players, or allow you to you know, get out of a really bad spot by increasing your defense and giving you more health regen. Yeah, a lot of food you bought all of a sudden. Um, you notice I could grapple bouncers, but not all bots can be grappled, so keep that in mind. Most bots cannot be grappled. I think I'm going to kill another wave of bots there. As you see, ejectors have cooldowns, like just like the Annihilator. It's a little shorter, but... Um, when you are trying to push, you obviously won't be standing here when I was available because a player can use it. They'll bounce you right off the edge. But the ability is, if the ability is, you know, on cooldown. You want to go. You can go up there and be safe. So just keep aware of the cooldowns of uh, machines and stuff. And up here we now have Chicky Cantor. He is a boss monster who you can kill for a buff for your team. I'm going to see if I can get up to him, which I cannot. He's got a health bar. He's got quite a bit of health. Now get attacked by two players at once. I said, I'm in the air right now, so the thing can't grapple me. I'm probably going to... Alright. As you see, things get a little, a little crazy there. I'm not sure where Shiki... There's Shiki. If you switch out, you can grapple Chicky, ride him. This makes you very vulnerable to any players, but takes out a large chunk of uh, Chicky's health. And gives you a bit of money while you're doing it. AC Chicky now has a lot less health than before. Now let's we'll take him down. A little hard to do by yourself, but... I see I cannot... Well, I guess I knocked off a Chicky. I see I couldn't grapple that, or if I could, I was not doing it right. Let's go here and turret tech him down. And by killing Chicky, grab him one more time. This should kill him. And he always gets stunned like that when he does his giant shockwave. And he dies. And now you'll notice I have feathers. My attack stats are temporarily buffed. This applies to your entire team, so take advantage of it while you can. What I'm going to do instead is go back up to the Annihilator because we're getting pushed back. And there's Bullseye. My little juice. And as you can see, being grappled interrupts the... Uh, interrupts the 
interrupts the whole annihilator process, I guess you want to call it. Kill this thing. And he's dead. You see, they're really hard to, to kill, so we're summoning them. Want some more annihilator? I see being beat up does not interrupt it. There's bacon, which gives me which back full health if I survive. There we go. Now all the bots are dead. I got a cheeky buff, as you see by the little feathers. I'm fast. I have a lot of damage, so it's a good option to push. I see you have to add a ton of damage. Take out the main turrets. Now the main turrets go down. Now you see the shield. Notice how the shield icon is gone from the Icemen's little meter up there, and their mascot's starting to lose. He's starting to be uh, decreased. So then I can take damage. I could I could damage that now if I wanted to. Those bots will attack it, but they'll die doing so. I want to go back here and show one more very important thing of the game, and that is the jackpot. When those turrets go down, jackpots for your team will start to spawn. As you see right there is a jackpot. Uh, there's a summoner for him back there, about 4,000. So if you save up, you can summon one of those. These are very powerful bots, but they're also very vulnerable. They can be grappled, just like the uh, bouncers can. And that means they'll still freeze in place. They'll take a lot of damage. So be careful when, you, uh, when you're letting these out. So escort them, baby them a little. They will do a lot of damage to the enemy turrets, the enemy money ball. And the worst thing is, you see there, the shields are back up on the enemy money ball. So it's not a permanent thing when shields are down on money balls. Just like the turrets, they'll go back up after a while. But the important thing about jackpots is that they will give a lot of money to the enemy team if they die. So you have to make sure you're using them properly. Otherwise, you're just feeding the enemy. I see... He does not die when he brings down the money ball. He will actually attack it and do a lot of damage to it. And since we are no longer being opposed by turrets, we can just pretty much go down here. As you see, things will start to become very much very hard to come back from when they're at this point. And as you see, it's going down. Those are the things are pleading on the top there. And that is it. That's how the game works. I see it's all about just making sure you're pushing forward, uh, keeping your turret safe, taking their turrets out, make sure you're getting experience leveling. Uh, here's a victory screen. You can taunt pressing H. Uh, taunting gives you money in-game as well, but it's a little risky because you're not able to move while taunting, so only if you're desperate. And here you can see some of the uh, metagame stuff. Uh, your total games won, total games lost, your level, your combat credits. I will explain that in another video, but that is the basics of gameplay for now. And uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.